Okay, I want to make a very, very quick video, uh, printing surgical guides. Now, I've got videos online that go over this in much more depth, but I know that for most people that are just getting into 3D printing, if they're in the surgical you know, arena, they want to know, well, how are I going to print my surgical guides? And so there's a lot of information out there, but as a very basic workflow, the way we actually print most all of our surgical guides at this point is the identical across the board for all guides. And let me show you how that works. First of all, I've got three different guides here. Here's a sort of uh, two sectant, you know, posterior teeth, anterior teeth for a posterior guide. Just a sectant guide for a posterior implant, and then an anterior implant guide. So three different types of guides should cover about every single possibility. Because even if it's a full arch, it's going to look a lot like this guide, just just uh, extending a little bit further to the distal. So here we go. All I want to do is I'm going to start with the anterior one because it's the easiest to understand. The teeth are pointing down right here. If I click on this guide, grab this. Now in the Rayware software, if I hold the shift button, anytime I turn it, it does it in 45 degree increments, which is great because what am I going to do? I'm going to tip it down 45 degrees and let go. I'm going to do that with every single guide. This one, same thing, to the anterior. And then this one, well, this one's upside down because it's a lower arch. So I'm going to go beyond that to 135 degrees. But effectively, it's the same thing. Teeth pointed down at a 45 degree angle. All of them work. Click over here to the supports tab. Make sure they're both on medium. Click generate supports. Generate supports. Generate supports. I'm done. There is no more work involved. You can mess with the, the default or the road. The road means it's like this little spider web looking thing of supports, whereas the default has a big plaque that it sets on. It makes it a little taller, a little more resin usage. Um, but that, doesn't, that does not matter. That is uh, the, the purpose of this video is to show you the orientation of the models. Drag and drop them into the software. Let me show you what that looks like. I just grabbed the same one that I just used, that posterior sectant. I just dragged it from my desktop right in here. Oh, it's, it's adding all of them because I had them all highlighted. I apologize. Let me go ahead and just delete. And let's just bring this at, over here. So once again, here's the front of the mouth. I'm always looking for the front. I'm going to hold the shift button and I'm going to lean it forward. Add the supports and you are done, ready to print. So you should not be spending significant amount of time on the software. Now I can hit print and go from here. All right, uh, that's about it. I want to finish up this video. Hopefully this helps.